Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be an update on my Project Wax. So if you guys haven't seen the introduction video for this, it I think I posted it a few weeks back and it's basically I'm going to be having 10 candles in at a time during this project and I just want to finish them, get through them, get some progress on them because I currently have 40 candles on my collection and I want to get that number down at least by half um, by the time June rolls around so I can buy some more candles at SAS if they happen to go 75% off. But yeah, that's basically the motivation behind this project is just to use a lot of candles because during candle day um, and like really the fall in general, I bought a lot of candles and so my collection's a little out of control. It kind of barely fits in um, the three drawers that I have in my nightstand back here that are designated for my candle collection. So I'm really trying to get through those. So I'm just gonna update you guys. I did finish a few candles and I'll just go ahead and update you also on the candles that I still have in the project and I'm introducing a couple of new ones. So let's go ahead and get started. I know the first thing that you guys are gonna wanna see or that I would want to see watching this video is the empties. So the first candle that I emptied is pumpkin peanut brittle from this past fall in 2020. This packaging is so gorgeous and really pumpkin peanut brittle turned out to be one of my favorite candles. So the notes on this are crunchy caramel brittle, salty peanuts, and toasted pumpkin seeds. It smelled so good. So much so I think that I'm gonna freeze this and try and um, chop up the wax. And I just bought a wax warmer. So I'm gonna try and put it in the wax warmer. Hopefully I can get out some of the wick clips that kind of like, the wicks like fell over. So hopefully they won't merge with the wax and stuff, but honestly such a good candle and when i started it it was pretty low already so yeah it was about right here i maybe had like five burns out of this um which is still really good and yeah i thoroughly enjoyed this i hope they continue to come out with this every fall um oh my gosh i just noticed how beautiful this writing is up here look how gorgeous i had never seen that until just now um anyways i hope that they come out with this candle again next year and the years after because i will definitely I'll, I'll probably buy two actually next year if they come out with this again because it's just like ritz and ritz crackers and peanut butter that's exactly what it smells like to me i don't think it's a fall exclusive candle i would burn this all year round and be happy with it so sad to see it go but i'm glad that i finished it up and then i also have spiced gingerbread this is from christmas 2019 with the cute little holiday traditions packaging with gingerbread men. So I had this in a um, project to use it up, which I do for body care. Um, so that's what the first line is from. So that's from December 1st, January 1st, and now today, which is down here. It kind of um, didn't pull out very evenly near the end. Some of the wicks, like one of them won't last longer than the other. So it didn't completely pull out. I'll probably do the same thing and chop up the wax on this one. No, I'm not gonna do that. No, I didn't. I didn't care for this candle as much. I think it's really a good candle for December, but anytime after that, mm, I don't want it. So yeah, spiced gingerbread is vanilla icing, cinnamon sugar, and fresh ground nutmeg. Definitely recommend for burning like right around Christmas time. But anytime after December, I don't think I'll go for this candle. And then the third one and the last one that I finished up is this Glade one, and this is Warm Flannel Embrace. I got this from Big Lots for like 250, yeah, 250. And when I introduced it into the project, oh, here it is. It was right about here. I maybe had like three or four burns of this, and it kind of started pulling out evenly near the end. But yeah, this candle, it I got it because it's like very manly and it reminded me of my ex, <laughs> but it actually smelled really good. I. Glade candles don't have a very strong throw, but I used this mainly in my bathroom at night when I was showering and like about to go to bed. And it was actually pretty comforting. I don't know if it was comforting because it smelled, because of the smell or because it was manly or because it reminded me of my ex. I don't know why it was comforting to me, but it was comforting. So I would consider buying it again. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. It smelled really good, especially with like the heat of the shower. Oh my God, it smelled so good in my bathroom. So yeah, I would definitely consider getting this again if I found it. Um, I think it was from the fall. I got this in August of 2020, um, but I think this was for the fall because it's like flannel. So I might consider buying this again. 
Um, so let's go ahead and get into, I'm just gonna show you guys what's gonna replace each candle actually. So to replace the Glade one, I have a second Glade candle right here next to me and it is the Sultry Amber Rhythm. I also got this at the same time that I bought the other one for 250 at Big Lots. It smells very manly again and it's stronger than the flannel one and a little more like cologne basically. So yeah, I'm actually really excited to burn this because I liked this one so much. Um, so I'm excited to burn this again in my bathroom at night. Um, let me go ahead and mark it. I have burned it once and it didn't fully pull out, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and mark it right now so that we know for the next update. So that is the first candle I'm putting in. And then I will have two three wicks that I'm going to replace the other three wicks with. So the first one is peppermint sugar cookie and I have it burning up back here. I'll go ahead and insert a video of what it looks like. I'm about at the halfway point and that's why I kind of decided not to keep this one until next winter to just go ahead and burn it up now. Um, because we are actually supposed to get a little bit of cold weather. I live in Houston and we don't get cold weather a lot um, in January and February, but we are supposed to get some cold weeks in the next couple of weeks. And we always either have a hot um, Valentine's Day and Mardi Gras or a very, very cold Valentine's Day and Mardi Gras. So I'm hoping if it's cold, then I'll wanna burn this peppermint candle. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and burn through this. Um, I hope they come out with it again next winter because it is a really, really good scent. It's like very pepperminty. It opens up the sinuses, but it also has like that really good sugar cookie bakery scent note to it. So I hope they come out with it again next Christmas. I mean, there was such a cult following around it. Everybody loved it, so I hope they do, but if they don't, I won't be really mad. So yeah, going to try and finish that one up and I will mark it once I am finished burning it. And then the second one that I'm going to put in, which I'm really excited about, is strawberry pound cake. So my girl Beth, um, Beth J on YouTube, if you don't follow her, you definitely need to go follow her. She um, just posted her wax project for her introduction and she said she was inspired by me and Ashley Nicole. I was inspired by Ashley Nicole and she was inspired by me and her, so it's really cool that we're all just kind of like doing it together. But she put in strawberry pound cake in her um, introduction and I was like, girl, me too, I'm gonna put in strawberry pound cake <laughs> because I'm kind of, I'm not quite there yet with the spring scents, but I'm kind of getting there. And like literally last night I was thinking in my head, I was like, man, I don't really wanna burn like a bakery scent right now. I kinda want something fresh and fruity. So for those days when I want fresh and fruity, I can do strawberry pound cake. Oh my gosh, look how weird this is. This is a candle that I bought at Candle Day and it already has this like weird crystallization going on on the lid. That's very odd. Um, it still smells great though. It's only a few months old, which is kind of weird. But anyways, um, scent notes on strawberry pound cake are fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. It just smells awesome. I've had this in um, like a hand cream, a shower gel, a few other forms, maybe a pocket back. And I know that I like this scent. I've never tried it in a candle form before or like home fragrance at all. So very excited to have this in here and I'm gonna go ahead and mark it. It pains me to do that because this packaging is so gorgeous, but I'll never see the back of this, so it's fine. So this is unburned. It has never been burned before. So I will go ahead and get started on burning this. And yeah, I'm very excited to start putting in kind of like spring scents. I don't often go for like a fresh and fruity scent. So um, the other candles that I have in my collection will probably get more use, but it's good to have this in for every, every now and then when I feel like that. Okay, so that's everything for what I've used and what I'm putting in new. Let's go through some of the stuff that I've been working on. So the first one here is Pumpkin Spice Latte. This is from 2020 Fall. And when we started out, we were about halfway. And now we're down to here. It's not really pulling out evenly like I'd want it to. But the single wicks for me never pull out evenly until like near the end. So I'm just going to mark it where it's at now. I maybe burned this twice and I noticed that the single wicks don't move very fast and it's super sooty. Not sure what that's about. I never have single wicks that are sooty. So that was kind of weird, but it just tastes, not tastes, it just smells like coffee. So yeah, this is a good one that I can like mix with other scents or just like have by itself for like a nice like coffee scent on the weekends or something. So that one has a little bit of progress on it. And then we have peppermint marshmallow from this past Christmas in the single wick. 
I really love the scent. I'm super glad that I got it in a single wick because they did not come out with it in a three wick. So let's go ahead and mark it. Again, this one did not pull out all the way. I actually burned it one time and then I had to leave like 30 minutes later. So it, it looks rough on the inside. So hopefully the next time I can burn it like for a long time. Um, so yeah, that one, um, here's the marks. So I burned this one a lot more than the pumpkin spice latte. This one's like a really nice one to do for like a relaxing shower or bath. So I've really been loving this one. Let's move on to the Goose Creek white icing cinnamon roll. These things are huge. They're supposed to last forever. Um, here is where I started it. Pretty much, I mean, I had burned it maybe twice. And so now I've probably burned it like five times in the last month. Um, here's a little label if you wanna have a look at that. It's pretty cute. It smells exactly like cinnamon rolls. It's so good and it's like very cinnamony, but I, I kind of like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark it right here. I just wanna keep getting steady progress on this because I know it's gonna take me a long time to finish it up, um, but I mean, it smells really good. I'm not mad at it at all. And I've actually been enjoying mixing this one with pumpkin spice latte. So I'll have these burning at the same time. It's like coffee and cinnamon rolls. It's a really good combo. The next one I have is blessed pumpkin pecan waffles. I think this one will probably be done by the next update. So when I started it off, it was right here. And let me go ahead and mark it where it's at now. Yeah, it it is a very hot and fast burner. Um, and it always pulls out evenly like within 30 minutes it'll be fully pulled out probably less than that to be honest so that's how much progress I've made on it I've burned this five or six times maybe um, and yeah I'll just keep burning this and I really think that I can have it done in the next month which is really good once they get down to this point it's like super easy for me to finish them so that one is almost done and then I've got Pumpkin Donut Shop. This one smells so good. I literally, I'm gonna be so sad when it's gone because it smells absolutely amazing. It literally smells like powdered sugar donuts. It's so good. I had this one going last night and oh my gosh, it's just absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark it. So last month we were right about here and now we're down to here. I don't think I burned this that much, maybe like three or four times, but I did, um, burn it for a long time when I burned it so mm, it's just absolutely amazing such a good candle so I'm gonna keep getting progress on this one this one's also a good one to burn with the um, pumpkin spice latte because then it's like coffee and donuts yeah oh yeah um, the next one is cinnamon caramel swirl I had this one in last month it's actually been in my project use it up so that's what these first two lines are and then this is when i entered it into this wax project so let me go ahead and mark it at where it's at right now i burned this a few times but i kind of realized that it's a little too caramely for my taste and this is from 2019 christmas by the way but they come out with this pretty much every year around christmas time it's so caramely that i'm like kind of sick of it but I'm just gonna keep, you know, steadily going and steadily burning it and we will get through it, but it, this one's been a little hard to burn. And then the last one that I have updates on is DW Home's Christmas Morning. This one is actually really close to being finished. Um, before it had been not pulling out correctly. It was like super tunneled. And now this side started to burn when I was burning it the last time. And I actually can see the wick clips now whenever the like wax is all pulled out. So yeah, very, very close to finishing this one, I think. Um, I thought it would go a lot longer, but I don't think that it's gonna last very much longer because look how far down we are. Yeah, so I think by the next update, this one will probably be finished as well. It smells so good. It smells like cafe au lait. It just smells like milk and coffee. This one is a really good one for weekends. I really, I think I've burned this every Saturday um, since I've put it in the project. So it's been really, really nice. And just like a really good Christmas, I mean not Christmas, coffee candle. It literally doesn't have any correlation to Christmas to me. It's just Christmas packaging. Um, and I got this at Marshall's, by the way, for $8. Like, $8 for this huge three-wick. This has lasted me a long time. I want to say I got this in 2019 Christmas. Yeah. 
So probably going to be done with this one by the next update. So very exciting. And yeah, that is everything that I have for the Project Wax update. If you guys want to join me on this Project Wax, you are totally welcome to join with as many candles as you want or as little candles as you want or even just wax melts. You know, you do you. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye.